Yeah, so this is Connections. So this is... Um, it's on New York Times, but we're going to play Puzzgrid, which has been around far longer, I'm sure. And it's basically a uh, round from Only Connect, the British uh, quiz TV show, Only Connect. Um, and you basically have a grid of 16 words, and those words need to be in four different groups, and we have to submit the, uh, the find the connection and then get the connection. So here we go. These are our words. So we've got dirty, sorry, trash, date, excuse, oops, out, knock, dough, blast, apologies, dead, reason, slam, pardon, defense. So some of these are things you'd say when you make a mistake. Sorry, oops, excuse, apologies, pardon, dough. Um, sorry is also a board game, but I think that's with an exclamation mark. We've got Doe is a catchphrase, catchphrase of Homer Simpson. Uh, I'm thinking maybe Oops, Doe, Blast. That's not it. We might not get this, but we'll switch over to Puzz Grid and there's different uh, difficulty levels. Uh, so, Slam Blast. Defense, that sounds like a sporty word. Or obviously, a warlike word, but sporty is what I'm thinking. Reason. Sorry, uh, knock, blast, slam, no, oh we got them, yeah, so those are things to criticise someone, so blast someone, to knock someone, to slam them, to trash, trash talk I guess. That takes out some words, but I don't think we're any closer on some of these other ones. Um, Sorry, apologies, excuse, and pardon. They all kind of feel like they're and not one away. Okay, so it's telling us one away. Um, apologies, excuse, pardon, defense. No, that's not it. Sorry, apologies, excuse. I think oops is the one that fits in here better than the others. I like... One away again. Ah, oh, we lost. Okay, so it was... Back to puzzle. It was apologies, oops, pardon, and sorry. And alibi was the next one. Defense, uh, a defense, an excuse, an out. An out, yeah, I wasn't thinking about as a... Now on interesting and then a reason. And then play date, play dead, play dirty, play doh. Play -do. Okay, that's that's what the dough was. Play doh, I didn't even consider that, but yeah. So this New York Times one has one puzzle a day, which is not much good. So we're gonna go over to Puzzgrid. And this is exactly the same, but these are users submitted a lot of them. Uh, so I've gone on to easy. I can see Lord of the Rings tag on this first one. Uh, and then we, these are timed. So, uh, okay. Dwarves, elves, men, and looking for hobbits. No, okay. Okay, I can see taking Hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> We've got 
Wizards, Elves, Dwarves, and Men. Bilbo, Frodo, Samwise, and Pippin. And that leaves us with Legolas, Gimli, Aragon, and I don't know what the last one is, but now we have to get more points by identifying the groups. So I'm going to call this taking the Hobbits to Isengard. They're taking the Hobbits to Isengard. Yeah, that's the connection. This one, uh, these are the races in Lord of the Rings. These are all Hobbits. And then these are Legolas, Gimli, Aragorn, and Gandalf. These are all in the Fellowship. Nice, so that gives us the maximum 10 out of 10. Um, difficulty quite low, quality I quite like that one. So you can rate these as you do them. Um, if we go back we can pick something that's not Lord of the Rings theme. I'm going to pick a something by a British person to see if anything else. So here we are, we're back with the normal grid. So we've got eggs, wish, moana, tongue, daffodil, beans, up, lips, sunflower, daisy, elbow, bacon, hand, cars, toast, marigold. So I can see Moana and Up are um, Disney films. Oh, Cars, that's a Disney film. I don't know if any of these others are Disney films. Wish, I think Wish is a Disney film. There we go, okay. Flowers, we've got Daffodil, Daisy, Marigold and Sunflower. And I can see some things we would have breakfast. So yeah, beans, egg, toast and bacon for breakfast and then hand, tongue, elbow and lips are body parts. So we can now get the points for these Disney films. Pixar movies, okay we got the connection. They gave it to us. Uh, flowers. Uh, breakfast. Full English breakfast. And body parts. Okay, complete the grid, 10 out of 10 again. So let's go up to medium, the easy is a bit easy. And we've got it set to show us uh, things that are rated good or better, so that's fine. So some of these I'm recognising as races, so we've got Aintree, Cheltenham, Newmarket, Ascot, oh I didn't mean to click all, all of them because we've also got Epsom. Uh, drumstick, that could be like um, chicken drumstick, but I'm also seeing down here Palmer Violets. And these are both um, sweets, old fashioned sweets. Rock, that's as in, like as in um, like Blackpool Rock that you get at the seaside. And then Caramac. Oh, we've got Refresher. Oh, we might, we might use all of, all of our points here. It's a mix of these. I think it's going to be drumstick. I think we did this. So one of the other ones of these is not in that category. Oh, some of these are ties. So we've got bow, um, so bow tie, bolo tie, tie, cravat, and then I think it's an ascot. No. Oh, and then we've also got some things to do with uh, rock music. So pedal, plectrum, I don't know what a kipper is other than a fish. Drumstick, there's... Okay, so the drumstick isn't in that category. So refresher, caramac, palmer violets, rock. Nice, that gets rid of that. So uh, drumstick, plectrum, Pedal. And another one of these is something to do with uh, a rock band. Oh? Or maybe you take a bow. So, what we've got? We've got Epsom, Cheltenham, Aintree, and Ascot, and Newmarket. So, one of these is a way of tying a tie. Ascot is. 
So, as a Kipper. There we go. Okay, that was what we got wrong. So now we can get the points for the connections. Um, so these are sweets. British confectionery. Yeah, sweets. Then we've got rock music items. Equipment. Used to play musical instruments. Okay, oh, it's a bow. As in playing like a violin or something. These are ties. And these are races. Race tracks. Race courses. Maximum points. So we didn't get penalised for our multiple guesses, but that's good. I'm comfortable with that. Let's try. Let's try this US one. Got Lot, Kramer, Warner, George, Bender, Elaine, Wright, Mario, Garage or Garage, Gibson, Pass, Blues, Jerry, Cosmo, Squire, Squire, and Space. So I can see we've got brothers. We've got Blues, Mario, Wright. Those are the three brothers I know. Well, I guess six brothers. I, I don't know. It's Blues, Blues, Blues Brothers probably more than two. Um, Warner Bros. Okay, so let's try that. Oh, it was. Yeah, nice and easy. Pass. struggling with these ones. We've got space. Oh, hang on. Space is on a keyboard. No. A garage is like where you'd store cars. You'd store cars in a lot. Parking space. Parking garage, parking lot, parking space. Parking. And I know fender is like to do with a car. I think it's um, the American word for bumper. Parking pass. Okay, yeah, just like a um, parking permit, I guess. In British. We have got lives on this one. Uh, we've got one minute twenty left. So here we've got people I don't know. Cosmo and Wanda. Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Elaine and someone. Kramer and someone. George and someone. Um. No, okay. We've lost a life. What are the other ones? So Gibson, Squire, Fender. These sound like guitar things. These guitar makes? That's going to be my guess. It's Elaine and someone then, probably. So these are Rose. Brothers. Famous Brothers. Then these are Parking. Then Guitars. Yeah, guitar manufacturers. Okay, I hadn't heard of um, uh, Kramer. Seinfeld. Okay, I've never seen Seinfeld, so no wonder I didn't get Seinfeld. <laughs> Place name. Uh, Seinfeld people. But yeah, okay. Difficulty was a little bit higher. I'd go, yeah, maybe a three on that, and the quality was pretty good. Let's go for this one here then. I'm just going to switch the music across to something else. Let's go for summer. Got Koala, Daffy, Bugs, Dive, Bandicoot, Tasmanian Devil, Bostick, Prit, Elmer. Diet, Land, Wallaby, 
Loctite, Gorilla, Wombat, Orky. So we've got some glues. I can see we've got Loctite, Gorilla, Gorilla glue, Boss stick I assume is a glue, and Prit. Are there any other glues? Could be, could be. And then we've also got animals from Australia. We've got Koala, Tasmanian Devil, Wombat, is a bandicoot from... Oh, we've got Wallaby as well. But we've also got Taz, who is a Warner Brothers character. Daffy, Bugs. Porky Pig? Don't... Oh, we got Elmer. Elmer Fudd as well. There we go, yeah. So Tasmanian Devil is in the Australian animal category. With one bat and koala and wallaby. Yeah. So we've got Dive, Diet, Land, Prit, Loctite, Gorilla, Bostic, Bandicoot. So the rest are going to be our glues. And then what is the final category going to be? If it's these, then Dive, Diet, Land. Trying to think of any connection. Diet. Diet could be like a um a parliament. Land, that's a German word for a uh like a state of the country. Regional state. But I don't know how I can link anything else in there at all. And a cute. Okay, I don't know what that final category is gonna be, but let's see if we can get the others. Uh, so these are Warner Bros. Correct. Uh, so that's, yeah, Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, Porky Pig, and Elmer Fudd. Uh, Australian animals? Oh, marsupials, yeah. I mean, they're also Australian, so that's fine. Clues. Brands of glue. And then we've got... Land, Dive, Diet, Bandicoot. Land, Dive, Diet, Bandicoot. Crash, Crash! Crash Land, Crash Dive, Crash Diet? I didn't, I hadn't heard of that, and Crash Bandicoot. Nice. Oh, I'm enjoying these. Very good. Not as difficult that one though. Let's pick uh, a couple more. Oh, we played that one. So we got lid, re or re, all, h e, site, d t, uh, brow, banksy, lash, i t, wit, j r. P E Blue Basquit or ba ba Basquit Pin. So some of these are going to be um, country initials, maybe. Some of them could be. Um, all right, if it was Tolkien, it would be J R R Tolkien. So I don't think it's that. I don't know what the J R is then. We've got, like, DT is a school subject, IT is a school subject, PE is a school subject. HE? Home economics, yeah. Got it, in my school that was called HFT. Home food technology. Lid, brow, Banksy. We've got things like blue and wit, which clearly need something after them. Uh, oh, they make colours, so blue, white, brown, red. Oh, okay, there's, there's, a, there's a false one in here somewhere, so... Could 
be pine. But red, white, and blue made sense. Lid. Eyelid, eyelash, eyesight, eyebrow. Why, why is that not it? Eyelash, eyesight, eyelid, eyebrow. It's not going to be eye banksy. Eye JR, eye wit, eyeball. Of course, so we've got red, blue, brown, and white. Oh, didn't we guess those before? Don't know what these are. Twelve seconds left. I'm gonna go for pin. No. Okay. Ah, oh, it's red, brown, white, and pin. It was. It was pin. So these are school subjects. These are preceded by the word I. Then, what the heck are these? Are these all artists? Graffiti artists, okay. I hadn't heard of uh, any of them except Banksy. And then these are colors with last letter, sick. Pink, of course. I was thinking pine, but didn't see that it could have a K. Okay, so we got six there. Uh, yeah, I like that one. Let's have a look. We've got another one open, ready to go. So here we've got Bertolli, Thistle, Amy, Star, Passion, Martha, Rose, Donna, Daffodil, Grape, Anchor, Rory, Clover, Lurpak, Flora, and Dragon. So I can immediately see we've got Martha, Rose, Donna, Amy, and Rory, all from Doctor Who, all companions. Uh, like new, new Who companions. Batolly, I. Batolly, Clover, uh, Flora, and Lurpak. Anchor as well. These five are all spreads, like butter, or like. I uh, can't believe it's not butter, like <laughs> non-butter spreads. Or oh, they could be butter spreads, I think. Lurpak is a butter spread, Flora is a plant-based one. If I am okay, that correct. Um, grape, Passion, Thistle, Star, Dragon. Dragon is the, it's a symbol of Wales. Thistle is a symbol of Scotland. Rose, is a symbol of England. Oh, okay, but yeah, daffodil is also a flower of Wales, so... Ah, uh, any of these other... Oh, it's clover, four-leaf clover of Ireland. So that gives us our... Um, our butters because you've got anchor, flora, lurpak, and bertolli. Uh, then we've got Amy, Martha, Rory, Donna. Yes, we've taken out Rose so we can do the Doctor Who uh, companions. Uh, I don't know what the final category was, Just, we'll get there. But oh, they're fruits. Okay, got them, got them, got them. Flowers of um, home nations. Uh, butters. Margarine brands. Doctor Who companions. And then fruit. So it's star fruit, passion fruit, grapefruit, dragon fruit. Oh, that's another good one. I really like that one. Uh, 
bear with while I untick legitimate interest on a whole bunch of cookies. Okay. The US one there. Let's tee up a couple of these. Canada, let's go. Okay. We've got thunder, coke, vegetable, hemp seed, jazz, magic, heat, Lewinsky, teapot dome, speed, whiskey ring, pot, peanut, olive, watergate, and dope. So scandals, presidential scandals. We've got watergate, Lewinsky. I don't know enough about scandals. Gonna switch the music to. Oh no, that's okay. We'll get with that. So, are some of these radio stations Magic Heat and Jazz? Magic Magic FM, Heat FM, Jazz FM, Speed. I don't know. We don't have any lives to worry about here. Doping scandal, Watergate, Lewinsky scandal. Oh, some of these are drugs, so we've got dope, hot, coke, and speed. Whiskey ring. I don't know what a whiskey ring is. I don't know what a um, teapot dome is either. Teapot dome. Uh, peanut oil, olive oil. Oh, hemp seed oil. Vegetable oil, okay. Okay, yeah, so the lives only matter from this point onwards. So now we've got the scandals. We've got the Watergate and the Lewinsky, the two I know. I don't see them being in anything else. Jazz, heat, magic, and thunder. Okay. That it probably explains why I didn't know the other two. Uh, so these are drugs. These are oils. Uh, FM, radio. Oh, they're NBA teams. Yeah, hence why I don't know those. And these are presidential scandals. Famous political scandals. Okay, I mean... Lewinsky, that's um, Bill Clinton. Watergate, that's Nixon. I have no idea what or who Whiskey Ring and Teapot Dome relate to. Difficulty, yeah, four stars quality. Decent, but yeah, very American. I think this next one is British. Let's take a look. So you've got Ration, Dish, Nation, Flag equals rebirth equals demoralize. Ten had equals fire. Rain car one air con met equals drug. So I would be a fool not to try all the equals ones. Yeah, expected that. We've got numbers, so we got one and ten. Uh we've got these three letter ones, so con car one had ten. I've got a feeling that these are all going to equal something. So something, something, something equals drug. Something, something, something equals rebirth. So we've got rebirth. So we've got ration and nation, which are one letter apart. Uh, anything else I can spot? Flag, nation, ration, demoralize. These, this, this looks like a really tricky one. Met. On. These are like abbreviations for things. Had ten. I've, there's just so many. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, uh, three letter words. Then one, two, three, four, five, four letter words. And then. Uh, 
these four that I have more than, more than four letters. I'm wondering if I can combine these to make words. So like, con air? <laughs> That's not quite con air. Con car. here that looks like it's gonna be drug that could be medicine or it could be a drug so one no had on ration nation demoralize no I don't think we're gonna get these at all I expect it's extremely clever but nation flag This feels more like the in in um, only connect. Feels more like the first round, the connection round, where you have you get one connection and you have to work out what the connection is. You get four things that have to connect in some way. Nope, no groups. Okay. We do have an equals in each one, so we've got flag, con, ration, and equals fire. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Con, flag, ration means fire. <laughs> Reincarnation equals rebirth. That's very clever, I like this. Didn't get any to start with, but yeah. And then demoralize. Ten dish here. Uh, so we've got dish, ten here, dish here, dishearten. That's not dish, it's dis. And then ha, ten. Uh, so one met had, one had met. Had met so met methadone, okay. Methadone in E. There we go. That's very smart. I'm gonna put the difficulty quite high on this. I did like it though. Good quiz. This one I think this was by someone Canadian. It was. So we got bracelet, ticket, penalty, golden, lottery, necklace, all right, ring, okay, so so, card, watch, meh, concert, parking, fine. So we've got some words that mean okay. So okay, so so, fine, all right. We've also got meh. That was the one, so fine is separately. Parking fine, just because they're next to each other is a little confusing me. I wish I could move them around or click a shuffle button. Uh, lottery. Lottery ticket. Parking ticket. Oh, I got a ticket as well. Penalty ticket. Golden ticket. Concert ticket. I'm just going to cycle through these. Lottery ticket, concert ticket, parking ticket, golden ticket. So here we have... Maybe parking fine, parking ticket, parking penalty. Um, these are the other things are things you wear. I think this is a bit easier then. Uh, yeah, so... Synon synonyms for okay. Mediocre, yeah. Uh, tickets. Parking. Uh, is it parking? Something fine. Um, like a fine, you get a fine, you get a penalty, you get a card, you get a ticket. Um, I'm going to say parking. Consequences for wrongdoing. 
my parking card is probably the only one that doesn't fit in with parking. Uh, so, jewelry. At least 10 out of 10. Uh, so the difficulty was lower on that one. The quality was all right. Let's go for this one. So, oh, we've already got words I don't recognize. Culch, spruce, traffic, blather, super, jabber, prattle, holly, gab, waffle, cedar, yap, latches, pine, laurel, and ice cream. So we've got some things that mean to, to chat lots, to sort of go on. Blather, jabber, prattle, waffle. Waffle on, jabber on, blather on, prattle on. We've got some trees. We've got spruce, cedar, laurel, pine there, and holly. So there are um, some evergreens. Uh, super, gab, waffle. So blather, prattle, waffle, yap, jabber. Gonna cycle through them because okay, another one a gab we've got as well. Super latches, pine, traffic cone, ice cream cone, pine cone. It's gonna be a waffle cone, isn't it? I don't know any of the others, so that's that. Now we're on to the three lives remaining. So, gab, yap, jabber, blather, prattle. One of those, one of those uh, five doesn't fit in the category. Otherwise, we've got latches, super, culch. Are these, are these anagrams? Peruse? No. Um, purse. Clutch. Bag. <laughs> yeah, the anagram is for for thing. I'm not sure what latches is, but we'll get we'll get there. Sure. No, not gonna not gonna find it. But uh, so evergreen trees, cones. Um, anagrams of bags. Yeah, we've got bag, purse, or satchel, latches, and then clutch. I was looking at clutch, like that's not a word. Did they misspell clutch? But no, they did not. That was the whole point. Um, and then we've got to talk incessantly. I don't know if that's how you spell incessantly. Let's give it a go. Synonyms for talking too much, going on, being long-winded. Nice. Uh, I like that very much. Difficulty was decent. Let's let's get let's up the difficulty to hard. There is fiendish as well, but hard I found is difficult enough. Okay. Three minutes on the clock. This is by Sue Dunim. We have, and this looks more, uh, more intellectual already. We've got Marrakesh, Colorado, uh, Kilbasa, Clan Gregor, Sapienza, Bratwurst, Hokkaido, Bocconi, Bangkok, Savaloy, Paris, Lincolnshire, Bologna, uh, Crashaw, Florence. Boomerang. We've got some sausages. We've got a, a Savaloy and a Bratwurst and a Lincolnshire. Don't know what the fourth sausage is. Could be uh, this one. Maybe one of these is a um, is a red herring. Some of these are, are the American capitals or. Marrakesh, Kielbasa, um, not Marrakesh, like that's an, is Marrakesh is in Africa, Kielbasa is, 
none of these other ones are though. We've got some European cities, so Florence and Paris. We've got Bangkok in Asia. We've got Colorado. Crashaw, that looks like an underground word if I've ever seen one. And then Boomerang. Hokkaido is in Japan. We've got Bologna in um, Europe as well. So we've got Paris, France, presumably. Florence, Bologna, both in Italy. Sapienza, that's, oh hang on, Sapienza sounds Italian. Uh, as is that place. Bratwurst, Savaloy. Lincolnshire sausage, presumably these three. I'm gonna guess a third, a uh, fourth sausage now. No, one of these is not a sausage, unless I've not done a combination. Oh, it was kielbasa. Okay. So we've got Paris. We've got Bangkok, Hokkaido, Paris, Marrakesh, Colorado, Crashaw, Clan Gregor, and Boomerang. Now, Clan Gregor is the one that's sticking out as an odd one. Doesn't feel like it fits with the cities. So Colorado is a state, not a city. Hokkaido is a region. Marrakesh is a region. We're out of time. Okay, what word? Oh, we just had... Okay, let's let's get there. Take, take our time with this. So these are Italian cities. Oh, the Italian universities, that seems very harsh, but maybe they're not cities. These are sausages. Colorado, Hokkaido, Paris, Marrakesh. Paris is obviously a capital. Hokkaido and Marrakesh and Colorado are not capitals. Marrakesh is a city. It's Hokkaido. I don't know if it's an, a, a city or an island or a region or a combination of those. Colorado is obviously a state. Do they all have metros? Maps from the 2016 game Hitman. Had no chance. Have we got the connection though? No, we didn't with that one, did we? No. Okay. Bangkok, Crashaw, Clan Gregor, and Boomerang. I have no idea. Oh, bang, crash, clang, boom. Could have got that one. Uh, I didn't like it. It's very difficult. <laughs> okay, new one. So we got sec, table, su, r, able, t, chase, form, pose, poise, scent, fume, king, n, ridge, k. So I'm going to do the thing and just check that all the letters aren't by themselves. No, that would be silly. King. So this is definitely a wordy one. Maybe the words all join together to make something. Suitable. It's spelt wrong, but suitable. Uh, table able. We've got table and able. Chase, poise, pose. Second, that's a scent. So, what is the connection? I can't see anything. Table, table. 
trying to join them together or anything like that will spot. I'm not very good with um, with anagrams, but that would be use. Fail. I am stuffed on this one. Chaser. Poison. <laughs> Center. when we get the wall solved that we'll be able to get these. My logo down while well, I'm not getting these. Okay, let's see what it solves to. Chase pose Sue R. Purchase, per, purpose, purpose, pursue, per. So something that ends in these or begins with these. Something king. So smo, smo sex, smote, so, oh, smot, smo able. No. King something, King Dom Sectum Abledom to Dom. No, that's not going to be it. Par, par, parable part parsec parking. It needs to have a vowel, so um, table. Mm, I suddenly thought tableau, but that's not going to be it. I don't know what a poiso or poisso is, or no or rigio. No, I haven't got it. Portable, porpoise, por. Okay, our oh, porridge. This one, I've got this one. This is perform percent perfume. Perk. Glad we got one of them. It's very difficult, though. Oh, this one doesn't look any easier. We've got Mar, Fred, Muddy, Gal, Titter, Lakitu, Chom, Mage, Cooper, Wisp, Goomba, uh, Booze, Snigger, Snicker, Thwomp. So we've got lots of characters from Mario. We've got uh, we've got Lakitu. That's the little critter in a cloud. Drags you back on the track in Mario Kart. Cooper, as in Cooper Trooper. A Goomba. We've got Boo with an S, and then we've got Thwomp. Nice. So we've got some titterers to laugh. Titter, Snigger, Snicker, and Trottle. Uh, what have we got? We've got Fred, Wisp, Muddy, Booze, Chom, Mage, Mark, Gal.
These are definitely, one of these is definitely a wordy one. Margal Chom all look like you could add something to them. There's a life. Mage. No, okay, I'm not going to do another guess until I know. No, Freddy and Muddy don't seem... Oh, so it's not Freddy, it's Fred. Muddy. I think we've got two wordy ones. I'm getting... I was, I'm thinking like mare is in the French for sea. That would be mar, I think. Uh, sorry, that would be mare rather than mar. There we go. Wisp, that's like a chocolate bar. I think that's spelled with an H. Wisp like this would just be like a... Oh, words for ghosts? Oh, these are, these are chocolate bars, aren't they? Freddo. A wisp, a chomp, and Mars. Okay, we'll get the um, the connection. So these are Mario. These are Laugh. Fred, Wisp, Mar, Boos. Chocolate bars. Oh, a boost. Got it. So that's not a chomp. That is chomp, mage, muddy, gal. Magician. Oh, it's chum, mate. Buddy, pal. Okay, that's tricky. The difficulty's about right for the category one. Let's choose some more. I don't think we had that one. Go to go to page one. Change it to very good ones and better. We've got Mother Russia, Britannia, Tobermory, Cake, Amazon, Hellas, Stroganoff, Uncle Bulgaria, uh, Piranha, Craig House, Wellington, Portree, Easter, Orinoco, Port Ellen, and Madeira. So I can immediately see we've got Tobermory, Uncle Bulgaria, Wellington, and Orinoco. So they are four of the. Um, four of the Wombles. But we also have Mother Russia, Britannia, which are like um, portrayals of the country. Does that make sense? So they're like uh, embodiments, uh, personifications of the country, I guess is the right word. Hellas would be for Greece. Uh, and then one other Amazon? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess on this. Uncle Bulgaria. Okay, maybe Uncle Bulgaria is like a personification of Bulgaria then. So we've got Tobmori, Wellington, Orinoco, and who is the the final um the final Womble? I'm going Madeira. It's not Madeira. Craig House is a weird That's like a place name it sounds like. Is there an Amazon? No. I'm going to take advantage of the fact we haven't used all of our lights yet. Maybe they're all... Maybe this is a trick. Tobemori is a Scottish place. Uh, Port Ellen, Craig House, and Portree sound like Scottish places. <laughs> wow. 
they are. They must be. Uh, then we've got Piranha, Amazon, Orinoco, and Madeira. Are these places in Brazil? Or rivers? The Piranha River, the Amazon River, the Orinoco River. That's definitely a river, so Madeira. Okay. So we've got um, personifications of countries. Yeah, exactly. Bulgaria, Russia, Greece, and UK. Oh, I'm, I'm happy I've got that one. Then Scottish places. Towns in the Inner Hebrides. Wow. They really stretch to get Tobermory in the question. Uh, and these are rivers. South American rivers. Okay, yeah, not all not all Brazil, but we've got Eta, Wellington, Stroganoff and Cake. Um Stroganoff is beef beef eater, beef Wellington, beef stroganoff, beef cake. Oh, I really like that one. Quality uh difficulty was up there, but yeah. Very pleased with that. Uh, now we've got Weighty Shed, Memos, Thirsty, Line, Shack, Moon, Money, Vessel, Rain, Bath, Nova, Outhouse, Hut, Network, Missive Vent. The last one feels very uh, strung together. Hut, Shed. They're very much similar things. Outhouse. Shack. Get rid of those. Line, Emos, Moon, Money. Vessel. Put water in this. You put water in a bath. Put water in the moon. No. something money or something line. New moon or full moon. Full vessel. Nova literally means new. Uh, new money. New moon. New rain. Down here we got network, network, a network and a line. Memos. Let's see if there's, it's got emo in that. I don't know if that helps. We've got eight in the word weighty. Seven in the word Miss Event, one in money, and two in network. There we go. Should be easy now, right? Um, vessel, rain, bath, Nova, memories, thirsty, moon, line. I don't think there'll be any other hidden words, so I don't need to keep staring at it. Uh, to do with water. Moon isn't really to do with water. Line could be to do with fishing. Eight seconds left. No. Vessel, thirsty, bath, moon. Okay, let's get these. So we've got the... Sheds. <laughs> Small wooden building, yeah. These have numbers hidden inside them. There we go. One, two, seven, eight. So we've got memos, rain, nova, and line. And here we've got vessel, thirsty, bath, moon. 
So new vessel, new Cersei, new bath. Full moon, crescent vessel. Bright vessel, no. Thirsty is the one that's throwing me off because the other three are nouns. I'm gonna put new. No, full. We'll go with full. Blood. Blood vessel. Oh, okay, in your, in your body. Blood thirsty, blood bath, and blood moon. Okay. Memos, rain, nova, and line. I don't know what memos. Unless it's not memos and I'm mis misreading it. Can you add night? Nova, night. I'm thinking re it'd be re Shun. Memosition. Nova ition. Line ition. I think it, you've got to add something to these. I don't know what it is, though. I was completely wrong there. Anagrams of rivers. Nile, Niger, Avon, and Somme from Somerset. Okay. That was quite difficult. Quality was up there, though. The miss event. Yeah, it was when I spotted the eight in Weighty. That's when we started to get some of them. Started to get somewhere with it. Okay, and next one. Probably going to be the last couple that we do. So we've got Lady Wood, Digital, Barking, Cigarette, Cuckoo, Pipe, Nuts, Pure, Chain, uh, Grandfather, Dandelion, Holy, Analog, Crackers, Alarm. Digital Clock, Alarm Clock, Analog Clock, Cuckoo Clock, no, another clock, Grandfather Clock. None of those. Okay, a dandelion clock as well. There we go. So it wasn't analog or cuckoo clock. Okay. Cigarette smoking, pipe smoking, cigarette smoke, holy smoke, pipe smoke, and chain smoke. Laity? That's like, um... Is that how you spell it? Like the church laity? The normal, the lay of, the lay people of the church? I don't know. That means mad, barking, crackers, nuts, cuckoo. Holy, pure, a wood smoke, pipe smoke. Cigarette smoke, chain smoke. No, these these all could be smoke. Analog is the one that isn't. So analog means like not digital. Pure analog. Holy. Got anagrams or something? I'm never good at anagrams. I don't think we do. I don't see. I don't see anything in the words. Could be there though. Could just be missing it. No, I think I might have chosen the other ones from that before. The cigarette. A pipe. Chain smoke. Holy smoke. I think we've chosen those before though. Oh, never mind. Okay. Pure chain laity analog. Oh, it was the ones I oh no, it was it was one of the options. Yeah, I think that was the one I was then going for, but we've got our clocks. We've got our mad. 
pure chain deity analog. Are these to do with the church? I don't know. No, they're anagrams. We've got Peru, China, Italy, and Angola. I wasn't getting those. And then we got holy smoke, cigarette smoke, pipe smoke, and wood smoke. Okay, let's let's call this the last one. Supermarket, Orcs, Nimo, Banana, Hammersmith, Nordic, Poland, Lambeth, Brixton, Silly, Betio, Leaving Before Being Dismissed, Casbar, uh, Perkins, Merton and London. So we've got Sue Perkins and Paul Merton. They're like British comedians who are on panel shows a lot. We've got Brixton and Hammersmith and Lambeth and London. They're all cities or regions of London. I guess London is not in there. Merton? I don't know. Casbar. So I think that's like a place where you go shopping. Casbar Market? Brixton Market? Supermarket, oh that's it, yeah, obviously. Got the word market in it though, so. Lambeth Market. These all could be markets. Leaving before being dismissed, so that is, I don't know, it's like, absconding. Nemo. Poland. Nordic and London. Nordic, that's the start of skiing and of walking, or silly, silly walks. Nordic walking. I think these are walking. Maybe? Lambeth walk. That's a. Uh, is that in a old song, The Lambeth Walk. Okay, but then we've now got Hammersmith, Brixton, Supermarket and Casbah. There are markets or shopping places. Perkins, Merton. Is there someone called Hawks then? And someone called Nimmo. Oh, there is a, co a comedian called Nimmo. I forget her first name. Okay, so walking, Lambeth Walk, Nordic Walking, the Ministry of Silly Walks from Monty Python and in Cricket, uh, a batsman walks if they are, if they know they are out and don't wait for the umpire to dismiss them. Okay, that's really tenuous, I don't like that that's in there. Um, markets, oh no, they're not, they, these are songs by The Clash. I, obviously, I knew Rock the Casbah, that's the only other reference I had to Casbah. Uh, the Guns of Brixton, Hams, uh, White Man in Hammersmith Palace, and Lost in the Supermarket. I didn't know any of the others, so I'm lucky to have got the connection. Uh, comedians. Paul Merton, oh, it's Derek Nimmo, okay. Tony Hawks, yeah, and Sue Perkins. Oh, they're all from just a minute. Yeah, so I didn't... Derek Nimmo maybe had uh, them on just a minute, but Tony Hawk, Sue Perkins and Paul Merton, I know from just a minute and lots of other things. Poland, Banana, Betio, London. There's got to be an anagram here or something I'm not seeing. We've got... Uh... No. Banana boat. I'm try boat. I don't think it is. They're all towns in the Republic of Kiribati. Oh, sorry, Kiribati. That is tricky. Very difficult. We're going to do one more because I want to finish on a high. 
we're gonna go back to uh, gonna go back to medium on oh, very good ones in medium actually let's go excellent medium this one by that person oh oh excellent we have countries we have um is that Thailand or is that Lao? We've got Somalia, we've got the UK, Cuba, Egypt, Canada, Spain, Mexico, South Africa, um, Madagascar, Italy, uh, Indonesia, France, Japan, the USA and China. So do we have these by continent? We do, they're by continent. Okay, this is nice and easy then. So these are the African ones. And then these are the North American ones. We have to Cuba in North America. Okay, <laughs> this, this was the, we're gonna do another one because this was too easy. Uh, so this is Africa. North America. It's weird to have Cuba in there, but I guess you ran out of countries. Uh, and then Asia. Was it Thailand or was it um, was it Lao? It was Vietnam. Okay. Quality ten. Difficulty very low. Well, I guess it depends on your geography knowledge, but uh, that's fine. Let's do another one. Will this be the last one? Okay. <laughs> Tired of waiting, you. Dr. Mai, I did what I did, Maria. Together, ever. Open heart. The way out. It takes a minute. Let yeah be yeah. Pretty little angel, Jack body. Betty Davis, the way is up. Stand up for love rights. Love me, a reason. Somewhere we know. Spanish. We have words missing from lyrics, so we've got Betty Davis eyes. Spanish eyes. Love me for a reason. Together forever. This one's only. Somewhere only we know. The only way is up. Her pretty little angel eyes. Tired of waiting for you. Stand up for love. So one of these other ones is missing the word for. I did what I did for Maria. Cool, okay, yeah, yeah, we got this. So Spanish eyes, pretty little angel eyes, Betty Davis eyes. Jack body eyes, no. Let's do the onlys. So somewhere only we know. The only way is up. It only takes a minute. The only way out. Spanish eyes, Betty Davis eyes, pretty little angel eyes, and then... Stand up for love rights, Dr. Mai. I think Dr. My Eyes would be very weird. Jack, Jack Eyes Body, Jack Body Eyes. Let Eyes, yeah, be, yeah. Open Heart, Open Eyes Heart. No, okay. So one of these is eyes, the others are not. Jack Body, Dr. Mai. I wish I knew the songs. That's the problem. I don't know these songs. Let yeah be yeah. Stand up for your love. My love. Open my heart. Stand up. Okay, I'm going to guess Dr. My Eyes. <laughs> or maybe Dr. Eyes My. So... Tired of waiting for you, love me for a reason. I did what I did for Maria and together forever. Uh, the Kinks, Tony Christie, Marie, uh, Maria, sorry, uh, the Osmonds, love me for a reason, and Rick Astley, together forever. And somewhere only we know. So this is Keen, the only way out, I don't know. It only takes a minute. The only way is up. So Keen. Uh, Cliff Richard, take that, and yes, and the plastic population. 
there. This one is going to be eyes. Let's see what Doctor is. Doctor, my eyes, the Jackson 5. What a weird sentence. Uh, Spanish eyes, Al Martino. And pretty little angel eyes, uh, Shawadi Woody. Betty Davis eyes, Kim Carnes. Okay, well, <laughs> that will bring us to the... Oh, we did that. Oh no, this was the last one, wasn't it? I didn't know this one. My mistake. Uh, open my heart. Let's... no. Open your heart, Jack. Your? Let your yeah be yeah, the pioneers. Interesting choice of lyrics. Open your heart, Madonna. Jack your body, Steve Silk Hurley. And stand up for your love rights. 10 out of 10. There we go. So that is going to be the end of the stream. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Let me switch to the end of the screen. Uh, yeah, something a little bit different for today's stream. Hopefully you enjoyed the Puzz Grid, uh, if you're watching on the VOD. Yeah, you can catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash pinelarknerd uh, two or three days a week, uh, normally about 6pm UK time. These VODs are going up on YouTube a week after they've been on Twitch, uh, youtube.com forward slash at pinelarknerd, and if Twitch isn't telling you when I'm going live, you can follow me on Instagram and didn't do it today, but normally I'll put a, a story up on Instagram just before I'm going live, so you can catch me on there. But yeah, we'll we'll finish there. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>